Today I'm discussing one of my all time favorite savings hacks. And mostly I love it because I get to say stacks a lot. Convenient that it rhymes with hacks. <laughs> Stack some cash fast with these hacks. Say that five times fast. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, I call this little show of mine The Money Resolution. I put out episodes twice a week. If you're new to me, I'm your host, Frankie. Like if you're liking the tips ahead. Subscribe if you like the idea of seeing more tips from me in the future. I'm on a mission to retire early and I wanna take as many people along with me as I can. Speaking of early retirement, using the starve and stack method is one of my very favorite ways to shave five, 10, or even 15 years off your working life. Or if your goal is simply to retire on time and you feel a bit behind, lots of rhymes, <laughs> this method could really help you in your quest to catch up because it is never too late, especially people like you who seek out content like this, so kudos. There is one key caveat though that I need to address before diving into how awesome this method is and why it works. This method only works if you and a partner each have income or you yourself have two sources of income or more. If neither one of those applies to you, definitely consider a side hustle and you can still make this method work for you. I do have, I think, three videos on the channel about making money and I'm gonna put my favorite on screen above my head. You can check that one out next. For me, YouTube did just recently become a new stream of income last October and so far, Every dollar I've made, I've diligently stashed away. A clue to sort of how this method works. But before I go any further, I do have some news I am pumped to share with you all. It's awesome, it's exciting, and you have to wait until the end of the video for that, so stay tuned. Easily the biggest life update I've had in many, many years. All right, let's starve and stack. Stack without starving. Here's how it works, and it's crazy simple. You live off one income, and you save the other income completely. This again can be with a partner or two incomes of your own. And if you wanna be an advanced and totally impressive savings ninja, you would live off the lower of the two and save the higher. And that would mean a savings rate over 50%, which could get you to early retirement, by the way, in as little as 17 years if that money is invested, even if you're starting from scratch. I'll admit the name is a little strange, because there's no starving here. The pro though, is that it's super simple and clear. Yes, it'll be hard to live with less, but it doesn't mean rice and beans every single day. I hope not. And you may not be getting all the comforts of living off two salaries, like, I don't know, a new car or a bigger than you need house. But even if you only use this method for a few years because you're just getting started and you feel behind, it can be super powerful to front load your savings and investing because time is your best friend when it comes to investing. You can enjoy compound returns for many years to come. Now, while I know that this method is super straightforward, I still think a quick example or two is a good exercise to really drive the benefits home. Let's say two newlyweds made $600,000 and $400,000 respectively. We're gonna call them Pam and Jim, and Pam makes the $60,000. To establish a nice nest egg, this couple would live off of Pam's salary of $60,000 and save and invest 100% of Jim's $40,000 salary. That's a 40% savings rate between them, which is fantastic. And after three years of doing this, assuming an 8% return, the couple would already have over $135,000. That's $15,000 more than they contributed in cash. And here's where it gets really cool and interesting. Even if they stopped there and never contributed another dollar because of let's say other financial goals like buying a house and having expensive babies, that 120,000 would turn into $291,455 after 10 years. 20 years after starting to starve and stack, they would have hit 519,000. 30 years later, that money would be worth 1.145 million. And 40 years later after they started, that 120,000 would be worth just over $2.5 million. Now that's a nest egg. And this couple just had to go all in for roughly three years. So if Jim and Pam were 25 when they got married and they stopped starve and stack after just three years at age 28, by age 65, this couple should be totally set to retire with over 2.5 million to live off of. And of course, Imagine if that couple never stopped living off of one income and saving the other. Now we could be talking buku dollars. Yes, buku dollars. That's official investing jargon. <laughs> and continuing to contribute just 10,000, let's say a year, 
would mean retiring early. And if you're wondering about this calculator on screen, that's from bankrate.com, and I'll link to it down in the description below. And I'm shaving off, by the way, three years from the numbers because they spent the first three years getting to that 135,000 in my first example. The other thing I love about this method is that it helps you know that if one of you lost a job and one income went away completely for any reason, you know that both of you could survive. It offers flexibility, in fact, that one of you could actually just quit your job if you were super unhappy with it or you're thinking about pivoting careers completely or those expensive babies arrive. <laughs> Kids are expensive though, so maybe get back to work. You do need a break anyway from those slobber monsters. But coming back to investing math for a moment here, let's say instead that this couple contributed 200,000 total over the course of 40 years through dollar cost averaging so it's the same amount of money they put in at a set interval. Let's say that's $5,000 a year that they saved and invested towards retirement, so they didn't front load it. Despite contributing $60,000 more by not front loading it, it's in the market for less time, and at the end of 40 years of savings and investing, that nest egg would be worth just under $1.5 million. And that sounds good and great, but that's more than a million dollars less than front loading that $120,000 over the course of three years. Time is powerful, right? It's time in the market that matters most. And if you're wondering, contributing 120,000 over the course of 40 years in total, so $3,000 means you'd have just under $900,000. That's almost three times less than if you came up with that 120,000 over the course of just three years. Crazy, right? These numbers illustrate the power of compound interest and why many people chasing financial independence with a partner live off of one income and save the other completely. It's brilliant and it's super simple. To take it one final step, if they lived off of, let's say, Jim's income of 40,000 for three years and invested the other income, that's $60,000 a year, that 180,000 would be worth 3.4 million 40 years later. And in that case, you should be able to comfortably retire 30 years after getting married with over 1.5 million saved and invested. I highly, highly encourage you to play around with numbers using a compound interest or retirement calculator. And again, I'm gonna link the one on screen that I've used in today's exercise in the description down below. You can even download a more full report using this one so you can see sort of what interest and overall balance looks like from year to year, which is pretty sweet. Pretty quick lesson today because this highly effective method is also highly simple to discuss and illustrate. Remember, you can do this as an individual as well if you have more than one income. And speaking of other income, honestly, I'm still trying to decide what I'm gonna do exactly with any YouTube money that I've earned. My gut is that I wanna put 100% of YouTube money towards my student loans for the next few years. Then I'm gonna be pretty used to not touching this money. And when I'm done paying those off, maybe I'd use it to just do some personal investing or put it all on black in the casino one day. Just kidding. Just wanted to make sure I have your attention so I can share my personal news. I really wanted to share how my news all went down live because I did film it. I made a video to share, but we collectively just decided that it felt too personal to put it out there in the world, at least for now. But on New Year's Eve, I proposed to my girlfriend of five years. She said, yes, of course, and we are still on cloud nine. We were celebrating our dating anniversary in Friday Harbor. That's an island up north of Seattle here. And I didn't propose on the ferry, by the way, like Jim did with Pam. but I propose right at midnight in the hotel room because of the illness. I also propose with just the wedding band because the real ring got delayed because of the illness, <laughs> but none of it mattered. I made her a really sweet video. It totally surprised her. It all went super great. There were literally fireworks in the background right after she said yes at midnight. The whole thing was perfect. And we're hoping to do the damn thing this year, uh, ideally September, because why wait? after five years together. So I'm sure you're gonna see some updates about you know, either wedding planning for couples or at least videos in the future about combining and managing money as newlyweds. Starve and stack is an excellent tip for newlyweds and we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping she might actually be on board with this idea and maybe we can give it a shot in 2022 and document how that goes. Anyway, here are some pictures on screen of how it all went down just so you can get a glimpse of that. And I can say with full confidence Investing in our relationship and our future is the best investment I've ever made. 
invest in good relationships because at the end of the day, that's what this whole living thing is all about. Money in early retirement, it's just all about getting your time back so that you can enjoy more of your life with the people you love. And I can't wait to enjoy most of all of my time with her. Thanks for watching. Like if you liked. Subscribe if you loved and you're pumped for us and want to see more from me in the future. I'm here usually on Tuesdays and Fridays talking all things personal finance and early retirement. So I hope you'll tune in for more. By the way, this is my 100th video and I have a goal to make 100 videos just this year. That obviously just got a lot harder while trying to plan a wedding. But when I commit to something, I commit. Like, put a ring on it, commitment. Let me know what you think of the Starve and Stack method or if there's anything I missed about it that you think is really important or something you do as a couple or just marriage advice for us or kind words. It's so cool to share this personal news here with all of you. Thank you as always for watching until the end. I'll see you all next week on the next one. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>